Hello everyone, I'm Bad Pan, a band who has a dark challenger with red headlights. Welcome back to part 4 of our series on creating the Fears to Fathom dialogue system in Unity. Today, we'll cover that clicking typing sound effect as each character appears on the screen. Shout out to our awesome friend, Rallo2x, for recommending this video. Hope I got your name right. Best wishes to you, whatever you are. As with the previous parts, this video is part of a series dedicated to Unity tips and tricks. I actually published my retro psychological horror game. If you enjoy this type of games, you can check it out with the link in the description. And if you enjoy the content, please like, subscribe, and comment every bit of your support means a lot to me now with all those being said let's begin so i have three audios they're like different clicking sound as you see these are different and there are actually two ways of doing it the first way i tried in my own game and it introduced a bug because it created like a lot of audio files and it repeated them again and again and it made it a bug and it wouldn't you know play any audios after 30 characters or more so the thing i'm doing right now is actually my way of doing it and it didn't introduce any bugs for me and i, I was actually satisfied with it so i'm gonna tell you guys how i did it in my own game this is even the same sound as my game you can use any video editing software i'm gonna be using premiere pro if you want to you know put it like the same speed as your writing text you need the reference video this was actually the idea i have right now and i didn't have it back then when i was creating my own game so i'm gonna add it here so this is the video of it i'm gonna put it here uh, i'm gonna go ahead and wait until the place where text is gonna appear it's like this so this this amount is enough we can just see the reference and i'm gonna continue it for one audio i'm just gonna use this one plus 10 this one so one one two three let's gonna copy paste it here Paste, 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 you know, every three seconds, you know that every three seconds it is three frames, sorry, is one. So, and just, as you see, this was more likely. Using one audio is actually very better, as you see. This was how to do it. This is, I think, how I did it. We created the audio, we don't need the video. We can just, we have to export this audio. You can just even make them, you know, longer if one second is not enough for you. I prefer, you know, using like three seconds or four sec, maybe five seconds is enough. You can just export it. I'm going to export it as an MP3 file. Go ahead and export it as an MP3 file. 320 kilobits per second. I'm going to export it on my desktop. Typing effect. Typing done because we are done creating it. So it is exported now. Let's go ahead and play it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag and drop my the audio we created into Unity. That's exactly it. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add this to when we are actually typing. To actually create that, we need to go to Fears to Fathom, open up our Camino Rack script. So uh, I'm gonna add audio part here so you guys know this part is for the audios. We need a public audio source, so it's a public audio source. And I'm gonna call it Talk Source. You can name it whatever you want again. When we start talking, we need to go before the subtext. And we're gonna say, I'm gonna add a place for audio again. So you guys, when you guys are using it, you guys know that this is actually where the audio is played. You're just gonna say, talk source, the play, it's gonna play. And when you're done playing, I'm gonna play another section for audio. When you're actually done typing, you're just gonna say, talk source dot stop. Just gonna stop the talk source from doing it again and again. You have to do it every time you're actually typing. For the choices we make, talk source dot play, talk source dot stop. That's actually how to implement that. Let's go ahead and check it out. I actually searched for it a lot, as I said in the intro. I didn't find anywhere explaining this good enough so I couldn't understand it. It was, I had this idea, which was actually very more optimized. It's just like, you know, playing one audio. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let's go ahead and check it out. First of all, before checking it out, I'm gonna right click on my canvas, create an empty file here. I'm just gonna say talk audio source. And I'm gonna give it an audio source component by clicking on app component, audio source, deactivate display on awake. Let's go ahead and add the audio we created. So select this talk audio source, drag and drop your typing done here, the, the audio we created. We can click on this circle to find it from here. We have to go ahead and go to our cam interact script, which is attached to our camera and uh, give it this audio source, drag and drop your audio source here. We can actually go ahead and check it out. As you see, As you see this is how it's created. Did you see, you can, you know, turn the volume down a little bit. So 
So if you like to even do it with faster talking speeds, it is actually very easy. You can actually, you know, record your game when the talking text appears. You can put it inside Premiere Pro, the same thing we did, and check for how many frames it takes for one letter to appear. In our case, it was three frames. So every three frames, I needed to put the audio. I just copy and paste it again and again. So that's how to create the typing audio effect in Unity or like the first to fathom talk system. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, a like would be amazing. You can also subscribe to see more contests like this. You can also comment anything you want me to cover or any opinions you have or anything you want to say. I would be really happy to answer your comments. I'm gonna go do something for the end of the video as I did in all my videos. So this is what I created for the end of the video. I hope you like it. Hope all the best for you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.